Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be going through XRP for you all and deciphering whether now is a good time to be longing or shorting this coin. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video on what is a very speculative asset, let's be honest. There's always these sort of articles of is this going to $200 or it's, it's going to zero and XRP is dumping on you. Uh, so I hope that by the end of today's video you can see a very unbiased view of this coin, uh, you know, getting my analysis only from the chart itself and really ignoring every bit of news that you've seen about it because let's be honest if you go onto twitter you're going to see a lot of people you know giving their opinions and you know in my honest opinion they really have no idea what they're going on about so i hope that you can take away the takeaway of this apart from the analysis is that uh, you know you really need to turn off all this or turn off all of the noise and just concentrate on the chart that is given to you okay which is the chart we're going to be going through today over on binance okay so I hope that you enjoy this one. Um, so yeah, let's let's start off. Okay, so a very, very simple view at the chart. We can say since the 6th of September, so we're looking at about 44 days. Okay, we're, we saw of an increase, currently sat at 53% increase. The top being, you know, about about a 60% increase from its low back at the start of September. Okay, so obviously, naturally, this is a very strong chart. Okay, the majority of the alts are not doing this well. So XRP is one of the top performers along with Link, uh, BAT, ZRX, you know, these are the top coins at the moment. Okay, so what, are, what sort of resistances are we running into? here very very simply we can see from high to low we, we very much struggled uh with the 382 fibonacci but eventually breaking through this what i uh, found very nice was you got this little ascending triangle so a little parallel back test of that parallel channel which then gave you an ascending triangle back you know broke through that measured move of this and then you know we have fallen back down to the uh top of the ascending triangle so a possible bullish back test of that as well OK, so on the on the short term here, I, I think it's very safe to say XRP is looking very good. OK, and let, let's just firstly go over some upside targets. OK, if you are in this and you've trailed stops into profits, you're looking for, a, you know, a new position, aggressive position now. Uh, well, naturally, this daily right above you is going to be running into a resistance. So that's 3828. OK, and then above that, you have the 0 0.5 fib. Uh, you know, you clear this 0.5 fib, and I think you can very easily run to the golden pocket here. At, okay, and that, that's you're looking at obviously a 10% and then up to a 20% sort of gain. So that's 618. Um, all I want to bring your attention to, specifically, I want to bring this really, really important because for me, it's looking very three wave-ish. Okay, so a one, two, three, drop down. One, two, three, drop down. A potential one, two, three. When you start to see these three wave moves, that the first thing that's drawn to my eyes is a rising wedge. And you can see that would have been given with a little bit of a throw over connecting these highs like this. OK, you can then see one, two, three, four, potential fifth. OK, throw over, throw over of the fifth coming back inside the pattern. Obviously, this is more confirmed if you break this trend line right here. OK, so a break of this trend line would be, in my opinion, bearish where you would look to really trade this down at least back down to that weekly uh more specifically this series of uh sr flips that were coming in at around well let's just say 3000 psychological uh you know you lose 3000 and you're probably heading down much lower so 3000 would be a must hold in my opinion um but yeah, this is a very, very, very important support trend line that you must be keeping your eyes on here because losing that would be bearish, especially if you lost it on high volume. Very, very bearish indeed, where you would at least expect the weekly 3000 to be coming in at that point. Uh, but that could obviously still give you a wave one, wave two down and, and then back up for these higher levels, naturally. Um, but definitely, definitely something you need to be keeping an eye on, okay? If... OK, if we manage to hold this support trend line, OK, which would be very nice coinciding with a back test of the channel. OK, obviously, uh, you know, you got your sorry, the back test of the uh, ascending triangle break of a measured move back test to move back up again. OK, so I think you could very safely give this up to weekly close, which is uh, tonight in exactly uh, eight hours. OK, so eight hours tonight, you got you'll have your weekly close, new weekly candle coming in there. Always volatility, always great to sculpt trade. This is one, by the way, that I will definitely be sculpt trading in tonight's Champions live stream. <laughs> so if you actually want to see me live trading XRP, then uh, I'll be doing that tonight, definitely on stream. Um, so yeah, there's that to look forward to, I guess, if you're in there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is one that I expect some volatility going into that weekly close. And it was going to be very, very, you know, um, deciding, the right word maybe, of where we're going on the medium term of this, of where we break this support train line, or whether we actually manage to get back above, go on to challenge that daily, then specifically the 0.5 and 618 are my sort of targets for the upside if, if we do not lose support here. 
Um, so yeah, that's sort of my view on XRP, how I am literally looking to trade this. Uh, looking to sculpt trade it first, uh, because there has been many sculpt trades in here, to be honest, but looking to sculpt trade it first, and that's what I'll be doing on stream. And then naturally for the midterm, it's all dependent on this support trend line uh, up to the daily and whether we flip that to get up to that 0.5 and 618. But the chart it is honestly looking very nice. Um, so I hope that you've enjoyed this little bit of a quick analysis today on uh, XRP. And... Um, highlighted to you the importance of sort of ignoring the noise trade the chart for what it is there's 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 going to be nobody um you know zero news in my opinion that's going to affect this coin obviously I, i'm aware that there are events coming up for it but specifically literally trade the those levels that i've given you they're important um you know bitcoin is also going to be trading very technically well at the moment could but could have an influence on xrp itself uh, but i hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this one if you if you have i would uh, appreciate a comment down below what do you think xrp is going to be doing are you under the camp of this is going to 200 dollars, or are you under the camp of this is going to zero <laughs> or just breaking up from the daily or down from the support trend line let me know below always as uh, always appreciate a like if you would uh, in like to give me that one as well i guess <laughs> so thank you so much and i'll catch you in the next technical analysis cheers and good night Bye. <laughs>